See skies of blue, clouds of white, bright blessed days, dark sacred nights, and I think to myself, what a the people passing by I see friends shaking hands saying how do you do but they really say I love you The people passing by, I see friends shaking hands, saying, How do you do? But they really say, I love you. I see trees of green. Good morning everyone and isn't it a wonderful world? That beautiful song was sung by Katie Malua. So very very welcome to this morning to Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary and today I am actually at the sanctuary because it is a very exciting day. Our um, students, our lovely students are going to panel after being with us for two years on the spiritual healing course. So we're all very looking forward to seeing their portfolios and seeing what they have, to, they have to answer a pile of questions, bless their little hearts. So we're sending them lots of luck and they'll all be wonderful for sure. 
So, very, very welcome. Let's just sit back now and prepare for our healing minute together. As we take a breath, <clears throat> taking a breath in and out. And just breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just letting go of anything that you do not need right here, right now. Breathing in cool air <clears throat> and breathing out warm air. And with each breath, soothing your soul and strengthening your spirit, relaxing your mind. Feeling love in your heart. And as you just feel this breath running from the top of your head all the way down to the soles of your feet, as you just let go. We give thanks that we are gathered here today. We ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your body. And then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure, unconditional love, balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Faith is the light that guides you through dark times. So take whatever steps are necessary to keep your mind and your heart filled with hope and joy. And as you share your light, your light with others, you not only make them stronger, but also you help to brighten your own world. So keep spreading your love, light and positivity. As we ask now that all the people whose names that we hold here in the distant healing folder in the sanctuary. May they receive healing for their highest good. This sacred space is also a time for us now to send out our own distant healing thoughts 
to our friends and our family, to the beautiful animal kingdom. But also, if anyone just pops into your mind, just sending out those healing thoughts as we call in Harry Edwards, his healing team, and our own spirit team. We will now have our minute silence. May they all be placed in the healing light and receive that which they are allowed to receive for their highest good. And our thanks and our blessings for your help here today. And thank you to all our friends in spirit. May God bless you. Amen. Thank you, everyone. So, I'm slightly speeding the healing minute today. I did that. I think bang on 10.01. As I said, because our lovely students are going to panel, I have to get down there and see them all. So I am going to read you a little story. Um, people often ask me who I'm looking at when I'm doing the healing minutes. And I realize that I look up all the time. It's something I actually love to do. There's always a window behind the camera. And I have a thing about skies. It's my favorite place to look. No matter what the weather, there's always something so gorgeous in the sky. So that is why I'm always looking up. So on that note, I found a story and it's called What Life Is All About. And it's an unknown author but I would love to read it to you. So once upon a time, there was a girl who could do anything in the world that she wanted. All she had to do was choose something and focus on it. So one day she sat down in front of a blank canvas and began to paint. Every stroke was more perfect than the next slowly and gracefully, building a flawless, colourful masterpiece. And when she eventually finished painting, she stared proudly at it and smiled. It was obvious to the clouds and the stars, who were always watching over her, that she had a gift. She was an artist and she knew it too. She felt it in every fibre of her being. But a few moments after she finished painting, she got anxious and quickly stood up because she realised that while she had the ability to do anything in the world she wanted to do, and here she was simply spending her time moving paint 
around on a piece of canvas. She felt like there was so much more in the world to see and to do, so many different options. And if she ultimately decided to do something else with her life, then all the time she spent painting would be a waste of time. So she walked out of the door into the moonlight and she walked and she thought and she walked some more. While she was walking, she didn't notice the clouds and the stars in the sky who were trying to signal to her because she was so preoccupied with an important decision that she had to make. She had to choose one thing to do out of all the possibilities in the world. Should she practice medicine or design buildings or maybe be a teacher? So many ideas going round and around. 25 years later, the girl began to cry because she realized she'd been walking for so long and that over the years she had become so enamored by everything that she could do, the endless array of possibilities, that she hadn't done anything meaningful at all. And she learned at last that life isn't about possibility. Any, anything is possible. Life is about making a decision deciding to do something that moves you. So the girl, who was no longer a girl, purchased a canvas and some paints from a local craft store, drove to a nearby park and began to paint the sky. One stroke gracefully led into the next just as it did so many moons ago. And as she smiled, she continued painting, painting through the day and into the night, because she had finally made a decision to just look up and feel the magic inside. What a sweet little story. And we all do it, don't we? We ignore what we really want to do. So I'm here today to say, whatever that passion is inside of you, go do it. So just to give you very quickly a few of the notices. On Wednesday, the 20th of September at two o'clock, there will be another meditation with John here at the sanctuary. And then on the 24th of September at two o'clock, we have the Sunday service and Jean will be taking that. So that would be lovely if some of you can come and see us. On the 1st of October, Teresa will be back with the Open Healing Circle at 7.30. So do please keep an eye on our website for everything coming up in September. Penny will be back with you tomorrow, Gary on Wednesday, Martin on Friday, and Bev on Saturday. So, as I said, I'm sorry if I'm rushing the healing minutes today. I really, um, I didn't want to take such a beautiful special time away, but uh, we have come to the end of our time together today. and. Thank you for joining us and from all of us here at Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary, sending you so many blessings of love, joy and healing light. And please remember, we are always here for you. So I'm going to leave you today with a little song that I found called keep looking up. And I thought it would be nice to show you the sanctuary gardens before our rain comes today. So I'll just pop this song on. Keep looking up. 
You're not alone. And thank you everyone Just for joining hear us. My voice and always know you'll be alright. Nothing to fear. Remember, love, you're strong enough. Keep looking up. This is your moment, this is your day, you're gonna rise up, and you'll find your way, you'll climb that mountain, and ride every way, I'll stand beside you, whatever you face, just hold on to me. Keep looking up, you're not alone, just hear my voice, and always know, you'll be alright, nothing to fear, remember love, you're strong enough, keep looking up, when storms have come. Keep looking up everyone. Thank you so much for joining us and I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Goodbye for now. Have a beautiful restful weekend. Bye bye.